It's time for another expansion concept video because you guys really seem to like these. Today we're going to be talking about the Canadian Premier League, Canada's top domestic men's football league. And don't worry, there aren't going to be any jump scares in this video like there were in the CEBL one. I'm past that, okay? We're back to making serious content on this channel. So yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, we gotta divide the league into Eastern and Western divisions. I know a single table is more ideal for a football league, but let's be real, Canada is a massive country. Canada has six time zones, so if we're gonna be literally doubling the size of the league, then we have to switch to a division-based format. My goal in this video is to add four new teams to each division. But before I reveal the expansion cities, I gotta remind you guys, I got a merch store now. Now look, if you're a normal person, eventually you're gonna go shopping for clothes, right? So knowing that you're gonna do that, Instead of giving your money to a giant corporation, why don't you help out a small YouTuber? Hey, it's September, which means it's gonna start getting cold again soon. So now is the perfect time to cop yourself a hoodie. Or if you're trying to save money, even just buying a laptop sticker helps me out. Link in description. Anyways, moving on. First up is Kelowna. Kelowna is like the perfect fit for a CPL expansion city. It's in its own region of the country, which is perfect for forming an identity. The city is growing at a rapid rate. It draws tons of people during the summer, and a potential team there could form rivalries with Vancouver FC and Pacific FC. Personally, I would love to drive to Kelowna to see an away game. It's a fun city, and a CPL team would only add to that. Next is Edmonton. Edmonton had a CPL team as recently as last year, but they ended up folding, which is a shame. Edmonton is a great sports city, and they've proven that time and time again. I think football should be given another chance here. When Edmonton had a team, they were playing at Clark Stadium. And I'm not gonna lie, this stadium really sucks. The seats have no weather protection, and they don't even extend the entire length of the field. If Edmonton gets another football team, they're probably going to be playing here, but I would really like to see this stadium get renovated. That way it could provide for a proper fan experience. Next is Saskatoon. I'm going to keep this one brief because the CPL already had plans to put a team in Saskatoon, but those plans recently hit a major roadblock, which is a shame because I actually really like this stadium rendering. Saskatchewan is still uncharted territory for the CPL, and that needs to change. Putting a team in the province's largest city would be a great start. Next is Regina. If we're gonna put a team in Saskatoon, we might as well also put a team in the provincial capital. It feels like the natural thing to do. Also, just because Regina is the biggest city in Western Canada that doesn't have a team that I haven't talked about yet. Regina has a stadium that could honestly be considered world class in Mosaic Stadium. If Regina were to get a team, this just feels like it would be the natural place for them to play, even if it's just temporary and they end up wanting to build their own stadium. But whatever the situation ends up being, I think that having two teams in Saskatchewan would undoubtedly help to grow the popularity of the league. Moving on to the east, we find ourselves in London, Ontario. I feel like London, in general, is a bit of an overlooked place, but it does have a respectable population. And I think that the CPL increasing their presence in these population corridors will do well for the league. And we've already seen how the CPL has thrived in other medium-sized cities, which I think is why it would be only natural for London to get a team. Along with... Kitchener. I feel like two new Ontario cities was a good number to go with, so I decided on these two. Kitchener and the surrounding Waterloo region are growing at a very fast rate, solidifying this area's importance in southern Ontario and Canada as a whole. If Kitchener were to get a team, they would have a rival in Forge just an hour drive away. And seeing how competitive Ontario teams have been in the league's short existence, that would definitely be exciting. Next is Quebec City. Like I said in my CEBL video, Quebec City has really gotten the short end of the stick in terms of pro sports in Canada. They lost their NHL team in the 90s, they've been trying to get one back ever since, and they're the biggest metro area in Canada without a CFL team. A city as big as Quebec City definitely deserves more professional sports teams, but because of the language barrier and the difference in culture, Quebec City seems isolated from other Canadian cities. I think Quebec City getting a CPL CPL team would help bridge that gap a little bit. Plus, Quebec is the second most populated province in Canada, so it seems like a no-brainer that the CPL would expand there. And since Montreal already has an MLS team, giving Quebec City a CPL team seems like a logical step. Last on the list of expansion cities is St. John's. 
St. John's might be isolated, but it's still Canadian at the end of the day. I think that they deserve a team in our top domestic league. By now, I think I've made the point clear that the CPL has no problem thriving in medium-sized cities, but I will admit that I think that out of all the cities I mentioned, St. John's does seem the most far-fetched, but I still think it's worth trying to put a team here. With how unique St. John's and Newfoundland as a whole is, there's no denying that a potential club here would have a really unique identity, and I think a team in St. John's would really make the Canadian Premier League, well, Canadian. It would officially stretch from coast to coast. Well, technically it already does because of Palifax, but you get what I mean. So those are the expansion cities. Now normally I'd end the video here, but I'm not done yet! Because for the first time in the history of this series, I'm proposing a, a relocation! relocation. <laughs> Now, unlike a lot of North American sports fans, I don't just throw around the word relocation when I don't like a team. In this specific instance, I genuinely think that relocation is the best way to go about things. So, which of these eight teams do I think should relocate? The answer to that is none other than York United. And here's my reasoning. York United plays in Toronto, but they're not a Toronto team. You see, York United was founded to represent the York region, but since there isn't a football stadium there, they had to play somewhere else. York United plays their home games at York Lions Stadium at York University's Kiel campus. And this isn't ideal for a few reasons. One, like I said, they're not playing in York region, which is where their fan base is supposed to be. Two, their stadium is not really that great. And three, York University is, at its core, a commuter school. There isn't really that much to see or do in the general vicinity of the stadium, especially compared to other universities in the area like U of T. So for those reasons, I think York United should move. There are plans to build a soccer-specific stadium at the Woodbine Racetrack, but I don't think York United should move there, because I think it would be more ideal if they were actually playing in the York region, where they're supposed to be based. And so, for that reason, I think York United should move to... Markham. Markham is a city that's continuing to grow and develop at a rapid rate. It's already the biggest city in the region, and I think having York United playing there would be a really good centerpiece for the city. Let's be real, the vast majority of football fans in Toronto are going to prefer to cheer for TFC, so having York United move to Markham would be a really good homecoming of sorts. So, here are where the cities are on a map. Under this concept, the CPL covers a lot more territory now. So what did you guys think of this list, and what cities would you give teams to? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Go Tridents.